Hi, everybody. It is me, Felicia Luzell, and we are making a flower arrangement. It's garden week here on Felicia Lazelle Living. As you know, this is my desk area behind me, and I'm always gonna keep a vase of fresh flowers. Right now, this is the vase of choice. This is a vase that my son gave to me for Mother's Day this year, and um, we are going to go ahead and put our arrangement in that. Now, a lot of times, I get bunches of flowers from Trader Joe's. That is my go-to place when I want to make fresh arrangements in my home because they sell different groupings of one kind of flower and, and assorted greens and everything. And you can just use your creativity and create the bouquet that you want. But other times when I'm pressed for time and I don't feel like doing all that, I just get a few already pre-made bouquets and I, I I usually get one I usually get two or three because I like my arrangements to be full and then I just cut them down and put them in the vase well today I'm doing a mixture of both I am going to use some pre-made bouquets and then some groupings of other flowers and we're going to create a beautiful fresh full arrangement for my desk and as you guys know uh, you saw me opening my Amazon packages I actually uh, put together my little desk, my folding desk. So that's what I'm using. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so let's start with showing you what I got. So these are in water. I got these yesterday and I had kind of, oh, exhausted the end of my work day. I wasn't really feeling it, but I want something very fall like this is really pretty i liked these and i don't know what these are i think they're some sort of mum and i also like these thistles in there so i really got them for these um but i'm going to deconstruct this and put it in my arrangement i also got these greens which i like this as you can tell i like sort of a fluffy green i was looking at some of the green hydrangeas but i just felt like for the sculptural detail that i wanted in this particular arrangement the hydrangeas would have been too formal and like classic then i got some crispedia i'm just gonna pop those in there these are pretty and as i said before these flowers last forever. You can literally take them after your arrangement is spent and make dried wreaths with them. You can, they last forever. I got my, what I call sissy flowers. Uh, my daughter is a 21 year old fashion student at SCAD and um, these are called pin cushions. So this is, <laughs> whether she likes it or not, this is her personal flower. Some butterfly ranoculi or ranoculus they were closed yesterday but they've opened up since since last night and i just think that is so pretty another nice fall color and then we got this tropical arrangement that i'm gonna break down we've got some greenery in there we got some palm leaves what i was drawn to with this was this little piece i don't really know what it is but it's Looks like it's some kind of sea sponge or something. Got birds of paradise in there. Um, some bamboo. Just thought that would be fun. So we've got all of our flowers deconstructed. I am not starting with any water in the vase. I, I will add that in later, but I am gonna go ahead and use the flower food that is provided. This is a good start. This arrangement is really gonna be my base, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of this down so that it sits nicely in my vase. We're just taking our little shears and you wanna make sure these are clean. Cutting everything at an angle. Okay. 
All right, so here's our base. And you can kind of determine what's too much. Like this palm right here, I don't want this towards the front. So I'm gonna move it more towards the back here. I'm gonna take these and kind of just arrange them in different areas. I like the palms here. I like the curly willow. I like this little sponge. This is our base. This is what we're starting with. Keep your workspace clean. Now I'm gonna go in with some of, some of the flowers that I have over here and I'm just gonna fill in. I'm pretty sure these are mums. Actually, I'm not, <laughs> but I'm gonna take some of the foliage off um, the less foliage you have in your water, the better. I'm going to take all of these because I'm going to use these. These are really cute. I like these because they're nice and sculptural and they kind of go with what I already have in here. If I were to put some hydrangeas in this arrangement, while it could be really pretty, that's not what I'm going for. I want this to look more like a sculptural kind of installation so okay so I have three I'm also going to use these thistles I thought those were pretty well that one has already told me where I can cut it so right there and see how the thistle is also kind of um it's kind of sculptural and it's fun. It's like whimsical. It looks like a Dr. Seuss character. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna use a few of these pin cushions and some of this Crispedia. Now, I don't wanna remove the foliage from the, the pin cushion because I think that adds to the sculptural detail of this actual flower. So we're just gonna pull these out. I'm probably gonna use about three of them. I'm just cutting sticking sticking them in you want to use your bigger flowers to fill in and then go in with your smaller elements later and try to mix this in so because this this already has quite a bit of green in it so try to get it in some areas where you see more color and we're doing different heights to make a little more dimension. This is not gonna be a long video. It's just, I'm really just showing you how to, you know, you could be having company over and you don't wanna pay for um, an arrangement from a, uh, I'm gonna need more of that Crispedia. You don't wanna pay a florist for an arrangement. Go to your local grocery store pick up a few bouquet, bouquets. You should have some nice vases in your home <laughs> and pop them in a vase and be done, girl. Everything don't have to be extra and everything doesn't have to be expensive. Okay, let's take some of these thimbles. I'm gonna move this back here. Even though you're only going to be really seeing this from the front, it's a good idea to work your entire arrangement. Like make sure that it's multi-dimensional and not flat. So that means going in and just filling in in different areas. All right, I'm going to put some of these pin cushions towards the back as well with that beautiful bird of paradise there. All right, let me look at it from the front. See what I may be missing. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Put this over here. Yeah, you always have to look at it from the front and see I'm doing this showing you guys, but you see, I've turned it to the front and I'm moving things around. Okay, that looks much more cohesive. 
and thought out. I think I want to put a little more purple in there. With, with y'all know that's my color. <laughs> so let's put a little more purple in there. Ooh, this is really nice. I think I think I really could stop here, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of purple. And this is just enough purple. I'm not flooding the arrangement with purple. I'm actually gonna group this and just sit it right back here to give it a little more color. That's it. I'm done. Took all of maybe 10 minutes. And there you have it. That's going to sit on my desk. How pretty is that? This is all you have to do. If you need an arrangement, you don't always have to go to the floral shop. You can go to your local grocer, get bunches of flowers or you can get existing bouquets and make your own arrangement all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to hit that subscribe button and comment and like share do all the things i'll see you guys next time